Air Barge Company is a pioneer developer of air cushion mobility equipment. For over 40 years, we've supplied these unique high-tech products to the manufacturing industry, airlines, government, nuclear facilities, military services, and oil industry. An air barge is a patented load-bearing and movement platform that floats on cushions of air. It applies the hovercraft principle to the movement of heavy industrial loads. It functions like a pallet jack to pick up and move skid-mounted loads of virtually any size and weight. Air barge equipment offers unparalleled durability with a flexible, non-inflated ring seal that encompasses the lifting air cushion. It is the only air cushion system that is capable of applying the brakes to stop a moving load when floating. Its flexibility is unsurpassed because it operates without seal damage over a wide variety of floor surfaces. This video will illustrate selected applications of this remarkable load handling technique. Six standard sizes of air casters are offered with load capacities ranging from 2,500 to 20,000 pounds each. Heavy lift versions are also available in corresponding sizes that have up to double the load capacities of standard models. All of these air barge casters feature a flexible, non-inflated wear ring to encompass the lifting air cushion and contain the lifting air. Air barge equipment is superior to competitors' bladder-type air casters because, much like a wiper seal, the seal ring pushes debris aside without damaging the seal. The load table is stabilized by the parallel bar linkage behind the man in the photo. The entire test table and linkage is free to rotate about the vertical post at the rear of the linkage assembly, allowing the load to move in an arc across the test surface. A test rig operation shows a man laying down, cutting oil, oil-dry chemicals, and metal chips in the pathway of the load table. The load is then floated through the debris. The air caster moves into the debris and returns back to its original position. Notice the clean path left by the operating air barge seal. As it moves through, the debris is pushed aside by the seal ring and blown aside by the air issuing out from under the seal. Additionally, it wipes the surface clean of cutting oil and oil-dry chemicals, and the metal cuttings present no obstacle because the air barge wear ring is not inflated. This photo, taken at Lockheed Aircraft in California during the construction of their model L-1011 wide-bodied jet transport, is an example of how single air barge units, referred to as air pads or air cells, are used. The fixture shown carries layup forms for bonded skin sections of the aircraft. Lockheed avoided an expensive upgrade to their overhead cranes by maneuvering this fixture on air cushions during the staging process. Furthermore, Air cushion flotation was required because the plant floors were concrete on sand and could not withstand the concentrated wheeled loads. The loaded fixture pushed by the two men weighed approximately 25,000 pounds and could be floated at weights as high as 45,000 pounds. Special air barge equipment has been designed for operation over weathered asphalt. This photo shows a 7 foot by 20 foot air barge pallet powered by a portable engine-driven compressor carried on board a small electric tug. The flexible duct between the power unit and air pallet provides flotation air to the air barge. This particular air barge was fitted with brush-type seals that are retractable and compatible with a porous asphalt surface. This air barge system is handling 8-foot by 20-foot cargo containers in a dockside van lot. Notice how this equipment easily glides underneath a container resting on blocks. When secured, the operator can raise the air barge to lift the container clear of the blocks, and the container can then be floated away. If desired, reverse the entire process to place the container on blocks again. General Telephone Company's Defense Systems Division received a U.S. Army contract to modify antenna structures for the Patriot missiles. At General Telephone's plant entrance, the antenna structures were taken off their trucks by crane, mounted on two support tables, and floated on two air barge air planks. Each of these air planks is a rectangular platform that mounts two air casters on its underside. 
This completely eliminated the need for a crane inside the building. The centralized controls are operated by one man, while the second man pushes the floating structure into position. Notice how effortless it is for these men to maneuver this massive load through a narrow doorway. The U.S. Navy developed this robot that, when fully loaded, weighs approximately 80 tons and floats on eight air barge air cells. It is designed to remove and install ship components in dry dock. These may include rudders, propellers, and drive shafts. The robot, including its air cells, is controlled through an umbilical cord from a portable remote control box that can be placed at a safe distance where the operator can observe the entire operation. In this Navy acceptance test, you can see that the operator controls not only the liftoff of the air cells, but also the powered movement of the floating robot across the floor in any direction, allowing the robot to be accurately aligned with the load while the load is still mounted on the ship. In the manufactured housing industry, individual building modules are typically moved on wheels, rolling on tracks. The main disadvantage of this method is that the entire production line stops when, for any reason, one of the modules experiences a delay. As opposed to this method, air pads offer omnidirectional mobility. If one module experiences a delay, it is simply pushed aside without disrupting production of subsequent modules. The building module shown weighs approximately 20,000 pounds and floats on four air cells. Two men can easily move one module, maneuver it inside the plant, and push it through a doorway to a loading apron outside where wheels can be installed for over-the-highway transport. Notice the restricted headroom as the module passes through the doorway. It would have been impossible to mount it on highway wheels inside the plant and push it through this doorway. In conclusion, air barge can be used in debris-littered environments, aircraft manufacture and maintenance, outdoor operations, missile handling, and robot positioning. The advanced design and unprecedented versatility of air barge will be an undeniable asset for your company. Contact us for further information on how air barge can serve you and make your daily operations hum.